Judy, we, um, you corresponded with me on, over email regarding a remarkable recovery from a wrist problem, which had other features to it, some spiritual features, etc. I think you said the pain was like a, at about a seven when you decided yeah. to use unseen therapists for it. It was, yeah, it was a seven. Yeah. So why don't you pick it up from there? You, you, you did the loving moment, you brought in unseen therapists, and then you had an experience that surprised you. That's what we want to get to. Okay, I had a very surprising experience. Uh, I mean, I was hoping for good things, but I mean, this went beyond my expectations. Uh, basically, I, you know, I, I called in, um, you know, like I'm supposed to imagine like, you know, uh, light in, around the area, like, um, you know, bright white light around the area, like, you know, bringing healing to it. And, uh, you know, suddenly I just kind of felt just a, a surge of energy going through my body, like my body was just pulsating. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, and I've done Reiki in the past and I've experienced that, but this was a hundred times uh, uh, more powerful than that. The, the, I just had, had this pulsating feeling throughout my entire body and my hand was kind of going like that a little bit. Um, and I mean, go ahead. Well let, let me ask you this, if I could, this pulsating feeling, which was a hundred times anything you'd ever experienced before, was it, um, I mean, you say you were shaking and this kind of thing, was it a negative kind of thing, a positive kind of thing? No, it was a positive, it was a positive kind of thing. I, my, my experience was intuitively, I felt that, uh, you know, my, my, uh, higher power, so to speak, is is Jesus. But you know, I also um, you know believe in like the universal life force, energy, and and things of that nature. So I was envisioning uh, you know Jesus holding my hand and and uh, bringing light into it. And intuitively, uh, spirit was telling me that you know a lot of your emotional pain that you carried around in your body for so many years is being healed. And I envisioned, uh, a, a vision came to me of like a, a towel being wrung out and all the water coming out. Well, that's what basically, you know, uh, spirit was telling me was happening to me with, with uh, you know, trauma from my past. Um, I've experienced a lot of trauma um, as a child and growing up. And, uh, and then I also had the, um, you know, it was just like something, something, it's just kind of like you just, something comes to your mind and uh, also a fast forward button. Uh, like, you know, I felt like, like, you know, Jesus was saying to me, all right, I'm hitting the fast forward button and we're fast forwarding through all these crappy emotions. <laughs> and my body was kind of like, just kind of like, you know, it was just kind of, it reminded me of what my body would be doing if I was uh, grieving deeply. You know, like if you're crying and you're and you're grieving, my body just kind of started like moving like that, and and I felt like like something inside me said, you know, you're being healed right now, and things are never going to be the same after this. And it was just a really profound experience for me. Well, and uh, I, by the way, afterwards, uh, my pain was like a, like a, between a one and a two. And then as the day went on, it was a one. And now it's still probably a one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I've talked with people in the past who have done unseen therapists in our process. Some of them, like you, end up having this kind of experience. I've, I've had other people say to me, like you said, that their bodies it starts to rock back forth. In fact, I could actually, as I was working with them, it was happening, and I could see right there on, we got it on film, uh, them walking, they're rocking back and forth uh, like this. You know, they're, they're doing this, and it's, they said to me that they could, if they wanted to, voluntarily stop the rocking, but it's like they didn't want to because something else, unseen therapist, was taking over somehow. Their version of the, 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 the washcloth with the water wringing out of it. Okay. Yeah. Um, so now 
The interesting thing about this is you were aiming this at a symptom, you know, a physical body thing. Yes. And apparently you got as a bonus a bunch of emotional clearing. Did I hear it right? Yes, that's correct. Let me ask you that. How do you right. know? I mean, I can understand how you would feel a cleansing going on while it was happening. Right. Mm -hmm. But how would you, this is my term, or have you, I should say, tested that um, by trying to go back through these traumatic memories and see if they're still there, see if they're still tens or eights or something. Have you done any of that? Actually, I started with my list because I'm on your um, your optimal um, EFT uh, training program. So I, you know, I started it recently and I just started making my list of events. So I probably yeah. have about 10 or 15 events. So this would be a really good time for me to start. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I tell you what. Um, the connection isn't very good. It's been good up until this last time, but then you cut in and out and we couldn't hear your voice. But there's a lot of stuff you said that's going to be really quite good. We don't need to keep going on um, with this uh, because of the connection in your voice okay. goes underwater a little bit. So, so. Oh, okay. Sorry. Unless, unless there's anything else you'd like to say, I can always, you know, go ahead. I mean, if there's something else you'd like to say. Yeah, let me just, uh, let me just think for a minute. Uh um well yeah i thought of something and then uh it just kind of uh, left my mind um yeah what's i i'm just trying oh what what i did want to say was i i i was very aware of what was happening while it was happening you know the energy and everything surging through my body and moving back and forth and such uh, my hands started to kind of go like that um but I was consciously aware that, you know, if I wanted to stop it, I could, but I didn't want to. But in the back of my mind, I knew, like something was saying, Judy, all right, I know you're enjoying this, but you do have to go to work today. <laughs> so, so I, I, because I, who knows how long this could have gone on for. I mean, sure. uh, it was at least 15 minutes. I mean, it could have gone on, who knows? I didn't want to stop it. I was really enjoying it was just such a blissful experience and it could have gone on and on. Who knows how long it could have gone on for, but I like, I was still connected consciously that I did need to get ready to go to work. <laughs> well, I, I, I think one of the, and thank you, Judy. I think one of the things that needs to be emphasized here is that not everybody falls right into this kind of an experience. This is the kind of thing that we are aiming towards that we get more and more of. So people that may be listening in who've, never had anything like that. Uh, they have had experience, at least on our, our website, but other people who have. So we put these things forward as possibilities for, for you. Just because you don't have this magical thing happen, doesn't mean you can't use the unseen therapist. The unseen therapist will work in the background, whether you're aware of it and shaking and all this or not. Okay, I just, I just wanna point that That's out. That's right. Yeah, your experience is one that's, that's more dramatic. And of course, we want, we want to show that when that happens, but it's not required for results here. 